there are fuck-ups. And then there's Equifax. There are screw-ups. And then there's Equifax. There is burning everything in sight to the fucking ground, insulting the earth. And then there's Equifax. Oh, what's that, American people? You like your private financial information to remain private? Well, fuck you. I'm Equifax, and I don't give a shit. Now, maybe you see the hashtag trending right now, Equifax. Maybe you've read a few news stories about it, and I just wanted to talk about it for a minute to really explain just how fully fucked the United States is at this very moment because of one single company. Between mid-May and July, Equifax had a data breach affecting 143 million Americans. 143 million Americans. Now, what exactly is Equifax? Well, it's a credit reporting agency. So what information does Equifax have? Well, essentially, they have everything about you that you would wish nobody could get access to. And now that's happened. Everybody has access to it. Your social security number, your former and current addresses, your phone number, date of birth, credit card information, loan information, garnishments, liens, child support, all of that is in Equifax. They have access to all of that, but they take it a step further. They use agencies to get even more information to build up a bigger dossier on you. This is from money at CNN.com. Equifax is one of the three nationwide credit reporting agencies that track and rates the financial history of U.S. consumers. The companies are supplied with data about loans, loan payments, and credit cards, as well as information on everything from child support payments, credit limits, missed rent and utility payments, addresses, and employer history when all factor into credit scores. Now, some people have just heard the news and they think they're okay. They think that because they don't have a credit card, this won't affect them. But it could. Even if you don't have a credit card, they still have access to your social, your addresses, your phone number, your work history, plenty of information for identity theft, or just simply fucking with you for the fun of it. Now, Equifax put up a website to basically check how fucked are you. And I've got some bad news. If you go to this website and you give them, why not, your social security number, because who cares at this point? Half the country just had their fucking socials given away. If you go to the website and answer that information, you're either going to get a no response or you're going to get signed up immediately for a service to protect your credit information. So if you don't get that no response, guess who's getting fucked in the ass? That's right, you are. Now, maybe you're like me. Maybe you're asking yourself, why the fuck would Equifax wait until September to talk about a data breach of this magnitude if it happened from May to July? What could compel them to, oh, that's right, their fucking executives had to sell off their stock first. Gotta make that money before the valuation goes through the fucking floor, which, incidentally, happened immediately in the after hours trading once they published this information, once the AP broke the story, their stock took a tumble. But the Equifax executives, they're okay. They're sitting pretty. They sold their fucking stock off. Now, for those of you wary about going to use Equifax's website to enter your social security number, go get a coin. It's basically 50-50. Flip the fucking coin. You don't even need to use Equifax to figure this out. Heads you're fucked, tails you're not. That's the odds you have. Round of applause for Equifax. Come on. I mean, that, that is impressive. I don't think any other person or entity can say that they doxed half a country before. But, you know, hey, don't, don't worry about it too much. You can just go get a new social security. Oh, wait, you can't. You're fucked.